Rick, if a missile hits a nuclear bomb, doesn't it just boom like movie-style boom? No. Morty, nukes aren't fireworks. Nuclear devices are actually quite difficult to set off. Timing, geometry, everything has to cooperate. So hitting it harder won't wake it up? Think car engine, not airbag. Smashing a parked car with a truck won't start the car's engine. The nuclear blast is a controlled machine. Lots of parts with super strict choreography. But a missile impact is still an explosion. Wouldn't that trigger it? Only the wrong way. Imagine you must perfectly squeeze a sphere all at once. Miss by a hair and you get a messy fizzle, not the full show. So like one of those stress balls? If you don't squeeze evenly, it just is out. Congratulations, Morty. First correct metaphor today. Yes, precise, even compression. That or it slips into uselessness. How precise are we talking? Wire length precise. Engineers keep all of the wiring past the exact same length. Because nanosecond differences scramble the symmetry. Okay, but if the impact sets off the regular explosives inside, that's still bad, right? Conventional bone? Sure. Dangerous. Nuclear chain reaction that devastates the city? No. You would likely shatter the careful setup, scatter material, maybe contaminate stuff. Still awful. But not the doomsday movie moment. So a nuke is a perfect squeeze. Same time, same shape, or it just fizzles. Cold star. They are high precision by design. Accidents break the dance. They don't perform it. But she's terrifying, but also slightly less terrifying. That's nuclear tech, Mori. Built to only work on purpose. Not like your impulse spy apps.